What's up guys? My name is Dan Archer and this is my new daily Mark 6 GTI. Let's be honest guys, how many of us are keeping our dailies completely stock? Probably not many of you. Me neither. I wanted a little bit more power out of this. So, did a little research, found out the best bet was the Integrated Engineering Stage 1 Flash. Decided to go pick one up from Integrated today. So I'm going to go through it a little bit. We'll look at the product. I'll show you how to install it properly and then I'll give you my first impressions. Let's dig into it, guys. Okay, so here's what you get. It comes in a nice, hard case with the IE logo stamped on top. Once you unzip it, the first thing you see is a little card that tells you where to go to download the tune or to purchase the tune if you haven't already. The web address is just tuning.performancebyie.com. You get a little USB to type C cable. You plug this into your computer and then into the back side of the dongle. The dongle itself is really nice. It has a nice metal case to it. This is the side that you plug into the cable. And this is the side that you plug into your OBD2 port. And that's pretty much everything that you get inside that little case. Alright guys, let's get to the tuning. First things first, you want to open your browser on your Windows 7 or newer computer and go to tuning.performancebyie.com. You want to click the download button here. Then you want to select which dongle you have. You want to install the drivers. And then you're going to select flash your car. Click the flash wizard button and install that. This is actually going to bring up the flash wizard tool that you're going to use to flash your car. From here, select tune. This is the most important part of the preparation process. It has to be plugged into a battery charger. If you don't have one, Stop the process right now because you could break your ECU. Then click next. At this point, you're going to connect your power link dongle to your OBD2 port, and then you're going to connect the cable from the power link dongle to your computer. Then it's going to have you turn your key to the on position, which is just one click clockwise. If you have a push button start car, push the on button without having your foot on the brake. If you have your foot on the brake, it's going to start the car. Now it's going to take you to the VIN registration stage. So you want to register your cable to this car. And then it'll take you to this window where you're going to select which tune you want. You can either do the original file, which is your stock tune, if for some reason you want to take it back to stock. Or, like me, you can select the IE Stage 1 91 Octane Tune. Once you select that, press Next. And it's going to take you to the actual flash screen. Just click Flash and it'll start for you. It's going to remind you one more time that you need to connect your car to a battery charger. This is super important because the fans will run during the tuning process. If you haven't finalized your purchase already, it's going to bring this window up. Just click the Purchase button. And then it's going to ask you one more time to register your VIN with this cable. It's going to download the files for the tune. At this point, it's going to start the tune. You need to sit and watch it while it does it because it actually has you interact at a couple different points. At this point, it's going to have you turn the ignition off, which just means turn the key one click counterclockwise, or if you have a push to start, just press the button one more time to turn it off. Once you've done that, click the ignition is off button and let it do its work. Then it's gonna have you turn the ignition back on. So that just means one click clockwise if you have a key or if you have a push to start, that means foot off the brake and press the button once. 
it's then going to continue with the tuning process. I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you don't have to wait and watch it. Once it's finished, it's going to have you repeat the same process of turning the ignition off and turning it back on again. So one click counterclockwise, click the ignition is off button, let it do its work. And then turn the ignition on, one click clockwise or foot off the brake and press the start button. And that's it. You successfully flashed your car and it's ready to drive. All right guys, so first impressions. The integrated engineering stage one flash, huge difference, huge difference. It really has like woken up the car. One of the things I remember when I got this car is I always felt like you had to be a gear lower than you than you than I felt like you needed to be, right? Or than you should be. And now you can. I mean, we're I'm at 45 miles an hour, third gear. Put my down, put my foot down, and it just it just goes like it. I love that. That's a huge plus for me. Is that I feel like the car has just enough torque, like it, it probably should have from the factory. So. Would I recommend the IE Stage 1 tune? 100% yes. Huge difference in the car. I mean, the throttle response seems quicker. The torque is, is, is just there and it's linear and it's nice. It, it, the, the tune doesn't feel too aggressive. I've, I've dealt with some tunes on cars before that felt like you were just pushing the car to its like absolute limit. This is the perfect tune, like the perfect tune for someone that just wants to OEM plus right kind of wake up their car a little bit and just get it to Something that's fun to drive every day and that's what this car is is it's a daily for me So I didn't want to go crazy, but this is like enough. This is perfect. It just It just pulls and just keeps going so Yeah, definitely go out if you have a mark six if you have a mark seven, you know I'm sure they have a lot of different products, but honestly check this out because it's it's a great tune